Hi and welcome. Our task for today is to find the value of x, given that this quantity raised to power x plus this quantity raised to power x is equal to 14. So, let a equal to 2 plus root 3 and b equal to 2 minus root 3. Let us multiply these two quantities. So we have that a multiplied by b is equal to 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3. We have 2 here. We have root 3 here. But we have plus here and we have minus here. So this is obviously the expansion for difference of two squares. So this is equal to 2 squared minus root 3 squared. And this is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So we have that the product AB is equal to 1, and that therefore B is equal to 1 over A. So we can now write this equation as A raised to power x plus 1 over A raised to power x is equal to 14. And this is a raised to power x plus 1 over a raised to power x is equal to 14. Because you know that 1 raised to power anything remains 1. Our next step is to multiply both sides of this equation by a raised to power x. So we have that a raised to power x into a raised to power x plus 1 over a raised to power x is equal to 14 multiplied by a raised to power x. Opening the bracket, we have that a raised to power x multiplied by a raised to power x plus a raised to power x over a raised to power x is equal to 14 times a raised to power x. Now here, let us remember the law of indices that says that a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n. From this, we can see that this is equal to a raised to power x plus x, which is the same as a raised to power 2x. So we have that a raised to power 2x plus, now this is equal to 1. 1 is equal to 14 times a raised to power x. Once more, let us remember the law of indices that says that a raised to power m raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n, and hence equal to a raised to power n raised to power m. So we can write this quantity as a raised to power x squared plus 1 is equal to 14a raised to power x. Bringing everything over to the left hand side of the equation, we have that a raised to power x squared plus 1 minus 14a raised to power x is equal to 0. Now, let a raised to power x be equal to y. So from this, we have that y squared minus 14y plus 1 is equal to 0. We cannot factorize this, but we can use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So we have that y12 is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. We have minus b is minus 14 plus or minus. We have minus 14 squared minus 4. a is 1 and c is 1. And this is divided by 2 times a is 1. 
this is equal to minus minus is plus so we have 14 plus or minus square root of the square of minus 14 is 196 minus 4 divided by 2 this is equal to 14 plus or minus square root of 196 minus 4 is 192 divided by 2. But let us remember that 192 is equal to 64 times 3. So we have this as y is equal to 14 plus or minus root 64 times root 3 divided by 2. So this is 14 plus or minus square root of 64 is 8. 8 root 3 divided by 2. This is equal to 2 can go into 14 7 times and 2 can go into 8 4 root 3. So we have that the two values of y are y equal to 7 plus 4 root 3 and or rather or 7 minus 4 root 3. So from here the next step is to remember that we made a raised to power x equal to y. And of course, a is equal to 2 plus root 3 is equal to y. So we have that 2 plus root 3 raised to power x is equal to 7 plus or minus 4 root 3. We have another equation, but thankfully this time, it's a simpler equation. So what we do at this point is to take logarithm of both sides. So we have that log 2 plus root 3 raised to power x is equal to log 7 plus or minus 4 root 3. And from our law of logarithm that says that log m raised to power p is equal to p log m. We have that this is equal to x. You bring down the x to multiply. Log 2 plus root 3 is equal to log 7 plus or minus 4 root 3. And of course, having gotten to this point, we can simply divide both sides of this equation by log 2 plus root 3, log 2 plus root 3. So we have that x, because this is equal to 1, is equal to log 7 plus or minus. 4 root 3 divided by log 2 plus root 3. We can evaluate this with a calculator and this because of the plus or minus we have plus or minus 2 as our values of x and substituting either plus or minus 2 into this equation we can see that both of them satisfy this equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you've learned something. Remember to subscribe, like, and to share. See you in the next one.